Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda. I don't know why it started me off with three hearts missing, but uh, those aren't missing anymore. In any case, I'm gonna go run off down here, and I think I missed the heart piece somewhere, so I'll go grab that right now while I think about it. I also missed a coin back there, but fuck it. It's not the run button. That's arrows. And that's me just aiming the complete opposite direction I should be. Okay, really? You're gonna come from above? Well, guess what? I have a heart now. I don't care. Okay, that's definitely not a heart piece, but, uh... I don't even need those in my bottle. Well... I checked it out anyway, and I didn't need anything over there, so... I have this equipped. Which my bow and arrow, I guess. Better than nothing. So. I just keep saying so, apparently. But yeah. We need to go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword and all that stuff. And might as well grab the Mushroom too while I think about it. Do all that. Since... I don't know how many heart pieces I actually have, but I can check that easily enough. I need two more. So, I think I know where they are. So I think I might have gone all the heart pieces actually that I can get to. Maybe. Yeah, I think I did. Now that I think about it, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. All of them except for the ones at the Lumberjack, but I have to do the horse part first. I am 90% sure, so... Go up here, I guess. Okay, we're not gonna go up here, I guess. I guess we're gonna go over here, then. Here is the area you can do stuff in. That guy is definitely chasing my ass. I have a sign. I was gonna read it, but instead you can take it to your face and leave. And all that. But yeah, I'm going to go up here, I actually think we're going to go down here first, so I can't remember what's down here, aside from their exit, but apparently nothing, nothing is down there. And then there's these guys, I hate these guys, they just sit there and try to steal your money. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find the mushroom thing first and foremost. I think I got hit by that bird for the tunnel. That was bullshit, but in any case, we have the mushroom now. It smells sweet, like sweet rotten fruit. That sounds lovely. You can give this to anyone who wants it. Um, yeah. Okay, really? You're gonna be creepy in the bushes? You're still going to take two hits and hit me a lot. What a jerk. Fuck that guy. Would you look at that. Some kind of a temple of swords. Or whatever. And look at that, we got the Master Sword and I can end the recording session. <laughs> no, I can't. That took no time at all, though. I will say that much. That literally took zero time. Suddenly, that guy contacts you telepathically. It is extraordinary that you won the Master Sword that makes evil retreat. With this shining sword, I believe you can deflect the wizard's evil powers. The destiny of this land is in your hands. Please... Do something? I don't know. He just kind of ended his sentence prematurely. I believe if you go this way... Help, the soldiers are coming to the sanctuary. I. I indeed. But in any case, we have a better sword now. It seems to have a longer reach too. I can get the mushroom again. Why? I'm not sure. I walked over that landmine. So then. Might as well go over 
Okay, we're not gonna go over here. Wrong area. We're gonna go up here. Yes, up here. To over here, and... It's kind of cool that the forest lights up after you get the Master Sword for whatever reason. Okay, you guys still aren't gone. Fog in the forest is clearing, thank you, we can go there again. Maybe it's something, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. Oh, that is funny. And you guys probably have hearts under here? Yep. I need those because I'm stupid and run into stuff. Okay, I thought these guys would move, actually, but... Yeah, I can't do that yet, so... Maybe I have to wait for the Dark World to get that one. Oh well. It's not that big of a deal, but... It's kind of an inconvenience. Now I can one-hit these things, thank god. But that's not the big deal here. So... We're gonna go to Sanctuary, I guess. Because it's along the way. Now one of these has coins, one of these has bees. Well, actually it's apples. And they heal one heart each. Cool. So we'll go to Sanctuary. Oh look, he's kind of uh, laid out. You are a second too late. I have failed. Zelda's soldiers have abducted her. They have taken her to the castle. You must find her before the wizard works his magic. Please, you are our only hope. And now he's dead. And I'm full health and I have laser beams on my sword. The most epic laser beams of all. Look at that. Laser light show. Motherfucker. I'm so overpowered now. I can just charge in this stuff and kill it in one hit. I don't know how I missed him, but I kill him anyway. Stupid invincibility frames. Okay. So it appears I have to cross this bridge here. For some reason. Only to go down here. And apparently cross over here again, for no reason. I don't really understand that, but whatever. I also don't understand why that would be blocked with rock. Seeing as it's pretty close to the castle. Wow. I got hit twice. Yes, give me that heart. Those guys are definitely throwing bombs at me, so I'm going through here. Yeah, screw those guys, I'm going through here. Okay, that was kind of cool. I kind of stopped them from dying, apparently. Yes, I can go up through here. Good. That's the nice thing about this laser beam, is I can just kill stuff from a distance now and be completely overpowered. So yeah. Since there's not much else to do, we might as well just go kill Algahim or whatever. And now we can go through here. To the top of the tower. And off we go. Remember these guys? Let's just uh, juggle them back and forth, because that's the easiest thing to do, in all honesty. So there. A little bit of juggling, and we're through. And they drop berries and stuff, which I don't need at all. So yeah. Basically all we're going to be doing now, for the rest of the video, is just fighting our way up. And whatnot. So Okay, this door's not even locked, so probably wasted a ton of time there for no reason.
I can just do that very easily and just eliminate basically every garden in here in no time at all. I'm not sure if this does anything. Oh, it does. I need a key for that, so let's go find that key. It's not that way. Now for this room, I'm gonna want the lantern in all likelihood. Yep. Lantern really helps. Missed that, but I got that. And, okay, that's just a garbage truck. I was gonna say, I heard something outside. Just a garbage truck. It is technically garbage today, so. Of course, it's basically a clone of the air room. Except with me kicking more ass than usual. I still need to bring that mushroom cat old lady. What am I doing? Because I do need that magic powder, but I'll do it later. So I'll go back to the light world anyway. So we'll just keep uh, plowing through waves of enemies. Because that seems to be a cool thing to do. I'm kind of surprised he didn't fall through the hole. I knew there'd be someone here. Just ignore everything and keep on moving in a forward-ish direction. And someone shot me quite clearly. So, that will end my little streak for a while until I do that. And these guys are noobs, so this is the easiest way to deal with them. I literally did not have to move anything, and look, it's a story block. Listen well, even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Sounds cool. Okay, apparently let's hit that. And now they're both dead, so... With victory in hand... And a pot. Which I will throw at this guy. There you go. Apparently, I can't hit that bird from there, but I can do that, so it all works out. Okay, this room has the potential to be incredibly annoying. Because I have this guy to deal with. 